Hey guys, how's it going? Carter Bitsby Trippin. Real quick, easy one for you here. You're probably watching this video because either somebody sent it to you or you're trying to figure out how do I take a, like an old paper wallet or a wallet that I, you had on your mobile phone that was maybe Jack's um, wallet uh, as an example. And how do you sweep those funds? How do you move those funds? If you have something like stuck in Jack or you have something stuck on Exodus, something that has not moved, like if you try to send something or that you're just trying to spin up an old wallet and how best to do that. There's not a lot of content out there showing people how to do this because it has involves usually showing a private key and some of that that activity what i want to show you today is how to simply do that i've had a ton of friends reach out trying to do stuff with their old wallet um, and they're just confused they're just like bro i don't even know where to start how do i get to how do i do this so uh, and i've had several emails that are the same thing like hey man i don't know who else to ask uh, i have money i know setting in like uh, an old jacks account or you know an old uh, electrum account how can I easily and safely move this quickly uh, over to where I can access it? First example, I'm gonna show an old wallet that I used to have that had, at the time, a very minuscule amount of Satoshis left in it. And I spun that wallet up. This is like from 2014 wallet. So this is an older wallet. Well, if we look here, this wallet has 82,000 Satoshis in it, right? So that's about 38 bucks worth of stuff right now. That's the only thing inside this Exodus wallet. And let's say I wanna sweep that over to a different wallet. So if I come over to here to this other machine and I have a new wallet here this has nothing in it so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to move over this content from this wallet over to this content in this wallet right and this could be like also a jacks wallet uh, i keep bringing up jacks because a lot of people use jacks before edge wallet any wallet that you can get to your private so when you go into like jacks you go into tools the settings you go to private keys for the particular wallet that you're looking at so if it's a uh, dogecoin let's say you have an old dogecoin wallet you want to get access to the wallet that has the funds in it and the private key this also could be a piece of paper um, that has an exported private like if you had an ethereum Ethereum, an old Ethereum printout um, with your MetaMask wallet and you have your actual private key, not your seed words, your private. Um, and I'll show that here in a second. But this is what we're talking about of how to move things over. So the first step in this, in this Exodus wallet here, is you come over here and you wanna view your private keys here. When you do that, it's gonna give you this warning because bottom line, somebody has this private key and you guys are about to see this private key, uh, you can sweep the funds too. Now, by the time of this video, this money's gonna be out of here and we're gonna go here and we're gonna unlock the, with the, the password for this particular wallet. Now, this wallet had multiple addresses here and multiple private keys. So you have your public address and you have your private key address this is the key to unlock this particular address this also shows the balances the one that we're trying to move is the one that has the balance in it now this right here is the, the key that we need to import into the next wallet so that that key will go over to the next wallet that's the thing that we care about that's ultimately the stuff we care about also in like the edge wallet jacks wallet whatever the wallet you were using that's the item that allows you to move the funds now let's go over to the other wallet and watch what happens when we move the funds require you to have like a fresh version of exodus installed on this particular version this is set up for 21 Point one point nine. Now the, the Exodus does a lot of updates quite often. This both works for Mac and PC. So when you first set up a new Exodus, it's gonna ask you to set up a new wallet. Once that's there, you'll see, you know, your prof your portfolio age will be one day. Um, they'll want you to go through and write down your 12 ward recovery seed. Highly recommend doing that. That's how you keep, you know, to make sure that you can restore this wallet. Remember wallets are only windows to your cryptocurrency and the private keys are essentially your key to get to it. So what we're looking on this one, because we want to import a Bitcoin seed here is you make your first deposit here and then you can come up over here and choose Bitcoin and this works for any other currency too so if you're doing your Dogecoin the same way for all you folks that were either mining or doing something with Doge you can do that same thing so let's go to Bitcoin we click Bitcoin now we're up to the Bitcoin address now what you want to do the, the secret right here is coming right over here and hitting this and what we're going to do is move funds so those little three dots there move funds and then we're going to take this private key we're going to copy that we're going to paste it right here or you can type it into it's just you know it's not going to let you move funds um, if you mistype that key but you put that key in there this is the 
thing you do and right when you click that it's going to come through it's going to come up it's going to show you the pup the public key address that it's moving it from and the total satoshi value and that there is a small little fee with that move and we hit moving funds you get the swoosh and that it has been successful so it happens pretty much immediately because effectively you've you've went out there and just repointed this and now we can see that the 54,000 satoshis have been moved over that's all there is to it folks it's pretty straightforward um but i know how confusing how really how confusing it can get whenever you're doing messing with something like an old wallet especially if you haven't had a lot of experience doing stuff with this all right guys hopefully that was a really good one for you so do like subscribe to this channel on this as we go through some more detailed explanation on how to move your money around being self-sovereign on that that piece of it and catch you guys on the next one